In this video I'm gonna show you how to increase or improve your FPS in Fortnite Season 10. In this tutorial we're gonna tweak the in-game settings, the Epic Games Launcher settings and also we're gonna optimize your PC for gaming so make sure to watch till the end and don't skip any steps. Before we start click on the link in the description and download the Fortnite X FPS Boost Pack and once you're done we can start. The first step is to click on the search bar and type percent app data percent and open it. Now go back to app data so click on the folder, open the local folder, open the Fortnite game folder, open the saved folder, open the config folder, open the windows client folder. And now open the Fortnite X FPS Boost Pack. Once you open it, open the config folder. And now open the low end or the high end folder. So if you have a low end PC, go with the low end folder. And if you have a high end PC, go with the high end folder. I would recommend going with the low end folder because this will just give you more FPS. So once you open the folder, select all of the files inside of it. It should say configuration settings right click on them and click on copy. Now go back to the Windows client folder in Fortnite, right click somewhere in the folder and click on paste. Now click on replace the files in the destination and wait for them to be replaced. Once you're done you can close the Windows client folder and go back to the Fortnite X Boost FPS pack. Now open the optimizations folder and open the registry editor tweak. So double click on it, click on yes. It says are you sure you want to continue, click on yes again. And the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry, click on ok. The third step is to right click on windows debloader and click on run with powershell. If you don't see this option here then go with open with and find windows powershell in there and open it with windows powershell. For now click on run with powershell and wait for this to be opened. Now click on remove all bloatware and wait for the script to be finished. Once it's done it should say finished all tasks and you can now close the windows powershell. And the windows deploader setting will automatically exit. The next step is to minimize the FPS boost pack and open the epic games launcher. Now click on settings, scroll down to the bottom and click on Fortnite. S check the additional command line arguments box and once you check it open the FPS boost pack again. Go back and open the launch options notepad file. Now what you want to do is to change the preferred processor number. So you want to change this 6 to the number of CPU cores that you have. And you can find this by clicking on the taskbar, right click on it, open the task manager and go to performance. As you can see I have 6 cores and 12 logical processors and for this you need the number of logical processors which is 12 for me, for you it will be different and after you find that out just replace the 6 with the number that you have. So for me it's 12, now copy the command and paste it in the Fortnite launcher. Once you're done, exit the settings and you can close the Fortnite launcher. You can now close the notepad file. The next step is to open this PC. So click on the search bar, type this PC and open it. Open the C drive or whatever drive you have Fortnite installed at. So mine is at C. Open program files. Now open the Epic Games folder. Open the Fortnite folder. Open the Fortnite game folder, binaries, Win64 and now what you want to do is scroll down and find the 4 applications. So Fortnite client Win64 shipping, shipping BE, shipping EAC and the Fortnite launcher. Now right click on the first one, open the properties, go to the compatibility tab and check the disable full screen optimizations box. Now click on change high DPI settings. 
and check the override high DPI scaling behavior box. Click on OK, click on Apply and click on OK again. And now do the same thing for the Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping BE, EAC and the Fortnite Launcher. Once you're done, you can close the Win64 folder. The next step is to open the optimizations folder in the Fortnite X Boost FPS pack. And now what you want to do is open the Fortnite Priority folder and double click on Fortnite High Priority. Click on Yes. It says, Are you sure you want to continue? Click on Yes again. And the keys and values have been successfully added. Click on OK. Now open the Task Manager again. You can do that by right clicking on the taskbar and click on Task Manager. Go to your Performance tab. And now go to the Fortnite Boost Pack. Open the Optimizations folder and open the Fortnite X Custom Launcher. Now select the folder that is the right for you. So if Fortnite is installed on your C drive, open the C drive install folder. If Fortnite is installed on your D drive, then open this folder and so on. So I'm gonna open the C drive install folder. Now check how many cores and logical processors you have. So for me it's 6 cores and 12 logical processors or, or 12 threads. So I'm gonna open the 6 cores and 12 threads folder. Now copy this shortcut on your desktop and once you're done you can exit the task manager and from now on when you want to play Fortnite you must launch from this shortcut. The next step is to open the Fortnite X Boost FPS pack and open the Ultimate Performance Mode folder. Once you open it, it will open up in Notepad and what you want to do now is click on the search bar and type CMD, right click on it and click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes and now copy the command from the Notepad file and paste it in CMD. Once you're done, click on Enter and the Ultimate Performance Mode has been enabled. Now close the command prompt, you can close the notepad file and click on the search bar again and type edit power plan and open it. Open the power options and now select the ultimate performance mode. So click on it and make sure it is checked. Once you're done, you can close the power options. The next step is to open the Nvidia control panel and you can do that by right clicking on your desktop and click on Nvidia control panel. Now click on Manage 3D Settings and make sure that the high performance NVIDIA processor is set as your preferred graphics processor. Once you open the NVIDIA control panel, go back to the Boost Pack, open the Optimizations folder and now open the GPU Settings folder. Now open the first image and what you want to do now is just basically copy all of the settings from the image into your NVIDIA control panel and once you're done with the first image, open the second one and copy the rest of the settings. Once you're done, you can close the image and click on apply in the Nvidia control panel, which should be somewhere around here in the bottom. And then you can close the control panel. The next step is to go back to the optimizations folder and now open the ISLC folder. Double click on intelligence standby list cleaner and click on yes. Now click on the arrow that is in the bottom right corner and you should see the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner logo somewhere in here. Once you find it, double click on it and it should open up. Now click on Stop if it's already working and check the Enable Custom Timer Resolution box and type 0.50 in the Wanted Timer Resolution. Now type 1024 megabytes in the list size is at least box and type 4096 if you have 8 GB of RAM or 8196 if you have 16 GB of RAM. So for me it's 8196 and once you type just click on Purge Standby List and click on Start. You can now close the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. The next step is to go back to the Optimizations folder and double click on See Cleaner Setup. Click on Yes. Wait for it to be finished installing. You can uncheck the Install CCleaner browser and click on Install. Click on Run CCleaner and now click on the Registry tab. Select all of these and click on Scan for Issues. This should be finished quickly. 
Now click on fix selected issues, click on no, and now click on fix all selected issues. It should say that the issues have been fixed and once you're done you can click on close and you can close the CCleaner application. The next step is to open the NVIDIA Profile Inspector application. Click on yes. Now click on where it says profiles and type Fortnite. Click on Fortnite from the list. Now click on frame rate limiter mode and select frame rate limiter control delay flip by flip metering. Once you're done, click on apply changes and you can now close the NVIDIA profile inspector application. The next step is to double click on park control setup 64. Click on yes, click on ok, click on I agree, click on next again and install and wait for it to finish installing. Once you're done, it should automatically open up. And now what you want to do here is click on CPU settings for power profile. So click on the list and now select Bitsum highest performance and make sure that all of these are set at 100%. Once you're done, click on apply, click on OK and click on OK again. The next step is to double click on quick CPU setup. Click on next and install it. Now set the system power plan ultimate performance or bit some highest performance. I'm gonna set it at bit some highest performance and make sure that the core parking index, frequency scaling index and turbo boost index are all set at 100%. Once you're done, you can click on apply and it should say changes successfully applied. Click on OK and click on close. You can now close the Fortnite FPS boost pack and click on the search bar and type run and open it. Now type percent temp percent and click on OK. Now select all of the files and folders that are in this folder. You can do that by clicking Ctrl plus A, right click on them and click on delete. Click on continue and you can just skip all of the files that won't be deleted. These are all just temporary files that your PC doesn't need anymore. Once you're done, close the temporary folder, click on the search bar again, type run again, and now type prefetch and click on OK. Click on continue and delete all of the files that are in here as well. So click on Ctrl plus A to select all of them, right click on them, click on delete and you can just keep the files that won't be deleted. You can now close the prefetch folder. The next step is to update your drivers. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, then what you want to do is open the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application website and click on download. Basically, this is an application that automatically detects and updates your drivers and is pretty useful. If you have an AMD graphics card, then go to the AMD drivers website, scroll down to the bottom and click on auto detect and install Radeon graphics drivers for Windows. Click on download now and basically this will download an application which is the same as the GeForce experience for the NVIDIA graphics card. This will automatically detect and update your drivers for your graphics card. And if you have an Intel graphics card then go to the Intel website and click on download now where it says Intel driver and support assistant which is the same application as the AMD and the GeForce experience. This will automatically detect and update your Intel drivers. Once you're done, you can move on to the in-game settings and basically there are a lot of videos in which they modify the in-game settings but I would recommend just setting them at very low and turning off anti-aliasing and turn off vertical sync or v-sync. Basically that's it for this video, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.